Ford Figo Aspire is here. We've been waiting for the car for a little while now and uh, as expected, Ford was aggressive, but perhaps surprising us by being very aggressive with the prices as well. Let's talk with uh, Nigel Harris about that and, and a whole lot more. Congrats on the car and, uh, and on, on the uh, launch that we've been waiting for. Um, and we'll start off with those prices because, of course, it's a very competitive segment. Uh, you've, you've surprised us by really, really going out there and saying, all right, what's, where, where do things start right now? Let's, let's go and undercut that. So, so, so you're right. I mean, I, we've got a, a vehicle that's really well specified, right? And it actually meets uh, all of our customers' needs in so many different ways in terms of looks and specification and safety and smart technologies. Uh, but you also have to give customers a reason uh, to jump. And, and this is, um, you know, basically the, the idea of what do you also have to do to get people to come across from another brand and actually come into yours? So it's a challenger brand uh, type strategy. And you're right, we did it with EcoSport and that really gave EcoSport a really good head start into the market. And we need to do that with this car as well because it is a competitive market. There are very well established competitors there and we need people to drive them. Once we get the first people driving, is it the first 20,000, 25,000 people on the car, then it actually develops its own momentum because then they're talking about, wow, just how good the car is. They get on social media, and then they understand that, that full value proposition. So that's really why we do it. It's a challenger brand type strategy. The uh, point you made was interesting about how today uh, looks have become so important for the buyer. Safety, not necessarily, and yet that's something you've consciously done. You've, you've said, oh, look, let's make dual airbag standard. Um, let's throw in six airbags on the top end. That is unusual, especially at this end of the market. Uh, was it simply so you have that kind of a USP, or was it just something that now pretty much will come almost, let's say, standard on Ford products? It's, it's always been, safety's always been a really important part of Ford's DNA. I mean, that's anywhere in the world, safety's really critical. And, you know, we, I, we were the first to standardise seatbelts in the US, um, as an example. I mean, that's how far back it goes, a long way back. And it's important because, you know, you're travelling with your family or your loved one um, in the vehicle, you've got to make sure they're as safe as possible. And with more cars on the road, you know, there are opportunities where the unfortunate could happen. And, um, and safety should be for everybody. I mean, it should be democratised, um, it should be available. Sometimes we say that, you know, safety's maybe not that important. But if you actually talk to someone in any depth, and we've done that, and you say, just where is safety ranking here? They, they all put it very highly.